What's going on, kings and queens? I want to remind you that your words have the power to create the outcome that you want to see in your life and have the power to curse the things to death that you no longer want to see in your life. It says that life and death is in the power of the tongue and them that love it shall eat the fruit, shall eat the manifestation thereof. And again, a man's life, a man's physical life shall be satisfied by the words of his mouth and with the increase of whatever he says, he shall be filled with. And again, a man's life shall be satisfied with good, with good by the words, by the fruit of his mouth. What God is saying through all this is that you have been given the ability to create the outcome of your life by speaking those things that be not as though they were, by speaking what you want to see into existence, into existence. And you have this ability and you have this attribute because you were made in the very image and after the very likeness of God. We see that everything that you see on this planet was created by God speaking it. God said, let the be, let there be, let there be. And it was the only thing that he didn't create by speaking was me and you when he touched and molded us and put his lips on our lips and bred life into us. But everything you see here in existence was created by words, which means it responds to words. I'm reminding you that you have the very power in your mouth, in your tongue to create what you want to see and curse to death what you no longer want to see. Remember this. This is your power. Use it and get the outcome that God intended for you. I love you. I love you. And I'll see you guys later. All right.